What's up out there? We are currently running a, I think we're on tier 14. This might be a tier, I think it's tier 14. I'm trying to, I'm, I've actually decided I'm gonna try to level up to 100. As, I'll see if I can get there. It's such a boring grind. Like I've been at this for about an hour and I've gotten, I don't know, 20, 30%. I know I'm not fighting the most difficult stuff, but I'm also trying to keep it like as easy as possible. I tried a little bit earlier to get leveled up and died a couple times. It's very demoralizing to go from 20% to 10% or from 18 to eight, you know, like you're, you're cruising along, you get that, you get the XP bar starting to go up a little bit and then it just takes a massive hit. So I'm trying to do as like easy a content as I can. Um, just super easy content, trying to anyway. So I've been going back and forth into Delve like I normally do and then coming back out into here to collect some uh, Sulfite, which is back what I'm doing now. I was running Delve a little bit earlier. Uh, I kind of got sick of it for a little bit, so I came back out here and decided to go. I had about half my Sulfite stack used up, so I thought oh, I'll come back out here and fill it back up, do something different for a little bit. I am kind of wanting to run a lot more maps this league. Normally, I think I would, like in leagues past, I would have gone and just started messing around more in Delve. And I like Delve a lot, but there is, you know, it, it, there's always the difficult part of leveling. You're trying to level up, so you don't want to push content. And there's a lot of cool things I want to do in Delve, but I can't push content because it's, I don't want to take the chance of dying and losing my progress. Because then it, you kind of get demoralized. You're like, all right, I don't feel like doing this anymore. So, uh, especially when you're like super low on XP, you know, that first 30% is really hard to get. I shouldn't say really hard to get, but it's more difficult to uh, stay focused on if you die. Let's say that. So, you lose that little bit of percent. And uh, do I have Fosta Veruso? Oh, that's the one I'm missing. Take that back. Cool. Get that one done. So I'm trying to, I, we got our announcement the other day that the league is going to go for a while. And I, I think we knew this. I think a lot of people speculated and GGG finally announced, hey, yeah, it's not coming out until July or the next league is not going to be here until sometime in July, which is fine. I, I'm in no hurry. I'm enjoying the league. I see all the doom and gloomers out uh, talking about how much this league sucks and all the problems with it. And I'm like, man, I'm just, I'm having a good old time with the league. I am not, uh, not having any issues with it. I, I continue to have good progress and I'm finding a lot of the items and stuff that I need. So I am just happy. I'm just enjoying the league. That's all I can say. I don't know what the problem is, but whatever. I know the league crafting mechanics kind of odd, and I'm I'm not necessarily a fan of that. I understand it. I don't. I kind of like the the monsters on the map device. I think that's pretty cool, but I can see frustration with that. So I did get an Alpha's Howl. So I am one step closer to getting that armor stacker going, which I need Doriani's prototype, which is like the last thing I need to get that off the ground. There's a bunch of gems and stuff in there. Uh, maybe some rings and amulets that I need. I can't remember, but I've got almost everything else that I need for it. I got the shield. I got the sword. I got the helmet. Uh, I got the boots. I think there was gloves or something. So, like, I have everything, but I absolutely need that. Uh, I need the Doriani's prototype. I believe that's what sets off the lightning damage that you can do with that. So, I need to get that. Uh and I was messing around with that uh, Detonate Dead of Chain Reaction build. I came back to this one because I was, what was I trying to do? I think I needed currency, so I came back to this build to try to build up currency for that build. And I was looking at this build, and I was like, you know what? I really need to, this is my regular Bone Shatter build, just stock Bone Shatter. I, nothing fancy with it. It's just straight up stock Bone Shatter. And I was trying to, I thought about this one, and I thought, you know what? Maybe I need to read do some things. So I watched some video, uh, specifically a couple of Jorgen videos from a league or two ago. And I've made some changes to my tree, not exactly based on what he did, but some changes. I, I do have some changes that he had, but some of this was from a couple of leagues ago. 
and it got me to thinking about what I had and uh, just reorganized a few things in here. So let's look at the passive tree. I believe most of this is the same. One of the big things that I got from him was this uh, mastery over here, which every four seconds regenerate life equal to 1% of armor and evasion rating over one second. So your regen or my regen goes from 800 uh, did it? Yeah, it goes up to 1800. So every few seconds, it just screams up higher. So I kind of liked that and I shifted my point. I had a point in iron reflexes, but because I'm going more for all, um, not that button, this button. So because I'm going more into armor, everything's just straight up armor. This was really diminishing returns. So it was like at one point, uh, I know this is a smaller number than what I have now, but I had like 20,000 armor or something like that. And it really didn't, changing that didn't make much of a difference. So I took this point off and put it over here. And I made some changes with, uh, so instead of running pride, I'm now running determination. This was another thing I got off of Jordan, or Jorgen was uh, running purity of elements. I guess I didn't realize that purity of elements makes you immune to all elemental ailments. And you get a bunch of, uh, Ellie res so I ended up I've got decent Ellie res now but I made those uh, those couple of changes uh, specifically just to it lessened up the amount of resistances that I needed to have on my gear it gave me Ellie res or Ellie ailment res so I thought you know a lot of this stuff's kind of cool so I went ahead and switched over to to those items there I ended up having to drop pride, so I'm losing a little bit of uh, damage, but I, it's fine. I, I don't care. It is what it is. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm fine with it, but I had some extra sockets on here. I, I was also running whatever the one that gives you accuracy is. I can't remember what it is, but it took these two up here. You had to run it at grace, I think, maybe, or I'm, I don't know, whatever it was. It's the one that gives you accuracy. Well, I don't need accuracy because I'm not... One of the big things with uh, Bone Shatter that a lot of people do is run over here to Precise Technique, and you need to stack a lot of accuracy on there. But because I'm not doing that, I'm coming off on the left side of the passive tree, uh, I don't need all that accuracy anymore. So my, I'm still at 100% chance to hit with a 92% chance to hit uh, elusive, uh, or evasive monsters, but I've also got monsters can't block, and I'm kind of tinkering with the idea of taking, um, where is it up here? Is it this thing? Yeah, your hits can't be evaded. It's two points away. I'm kind of considering if I would move over to that area or not. I'm not sure. But let's see. As far as other things that I've changed since the last video, um, I think we had that. I came back over here to Lust for Carnage because this gives you some attack speed along the way. I, and one of the things in Jorgen's videos, he was saying that attack speed really helps out Bone Shatter, especially for the whatever build he had going. So I started putting more attack speed into here, and I'm pushing the DPS up. Well, the, it doesn't really show on the tooltip that much, but I think I'm at like 1.6, 1.8 million with this setup right here. So I've got that for extra attack speed. And let's see here. I think I've kept all that. I reorganized this slightly just to shorten some of it up. I came out of slaughter. I was in slaughter, but it, it's not as good as I was thinking it was. I ended up finding out that up here with Righteous Fury, you get 40% increased melee damage with hits at close range. Ding, ding, ding. Everything with Bone Shatter is at close range. So I was like, dude, I'm right here because I came up here for combat stamina. And I'm like, well, it's right here. And then you got a bunch of increased melee damage along the way. And I took this other 5% increased attack speed per enemy in close range. So you get faster attack speed the more stuff's around you. And I'm like, that's perfect. That's kind of exactly the build that I'm running. So I was like, all right. Um, yeah, that's that seems fine. It seems exactly like what I need. Now, let's see here. Um, inventory, that's the one that I want to take. Another change that I made, because I could take out the, whatever that accuracy and, um, oh, arrogance. I took arrogance and accuracy out, so I put call to arms and ancestral cry back in. So these things are leveling up pretty nicely. And I think that's kind of about it. I was looking at doing close combat support here instead of impale. 
I think one thing Jorgen was saying in his video is that close combat support, which I've got here, he said this thing, it, you get this combat rush. But I think he was saying that this gives you uh, attack speed, but it sounds like it only gives you speed on the travel skill. So combat rush grants 20% more attack speed to travel skills not supported by close combat. So I don't, I don't know if I misunderstood what he was saying or he had, or maybe they've changed it. I don't know, some combination of things. I've seen a lot of people use close combat support and this gives you 37% more damage, melee damage based on proximity. So that gives you a little better. But Impale actually gives better DPS in POB. Now this one doesn't show up as it's going to do anything, but... In POB, it sounds a lot better than close combat support. It, the DPS goes up quite a bit. So I've been working on that. And then another thing I picked up from Jorgen's videos was the... I knew this, but I didn't realize how important it was. In the fizz, fizz damage taken as recouped as life. So I've got 8% on here. I picked up another... Oh, 9% on the chest piece. And I've added increased action speed over here. Warcry speed, I'll probably change out at some point. And then I've got uh, attack speed here. And then I need to change this. So I've got some eater implicits uh, that I need to change. Like this one, I don't really like it. When a unique enemy is in your presence, you get plus 60 to accuracy per frenzy charge. I'm going to get rid of that. I don't, oh, I do have one here. It's a Warcry speed. I think I'm going to change that out also. I like the increased armor that's on here. And then this one has got damage pens, cold res. I like, I can't even use that. So I need to get that changed, but I've been focusing on fighting the Exarch. So I've got a whole bunch of his stuff ready to go. I'm, I'm a couple of fights back from there. And I think I've got another one of his, uh, another Polaric invitation. I am not going to run the, those until I get leveled up. I'm going to get that leveled up first. And I gotta say, I really do, I really like that we have the stash tab for this. I miss the stash tab for the Maven stuff. I think that does kind of suck that you have to complete this here and then go to Kirok and run it. Does he stack all that? I've been afraid to try. I, I, I just go get that and then instantly run it. I don't know if he stacks those missions or what, but I kind of wish, I, I don't like that. I, I've not enjoyed that at all. Um... Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. So, let's see here. What else do I need to talk about? I think, well, I think I brought in, I worked in this new helmet, which has got life regen, some cold res, uh, whatever. It's got some stuff on here. Increased global accuracy, which doesn't matter. But it had 1,100 armor on it. So, I was like, all right, that's that's a really good helmet. So, I've got that in there, and I worked in the the Onyx, the Onyx Carnage Heart Onyx Amulet. Now, I had an amulet that was slightly better on the DPS, but this thing reduced a lot of, because it's got plus 16 to all attributes, and then another plus 39 to all attributes, this thing really helped out as far as getting rid of, like, some int and dex and stuff like that. So, I could, I'm potentially able to change some of my other stuff on here. So I redid the crafted, uh, what I've crafted on this ring. So this is now 14% increased global fizz damage. And the other rings got add 7 to 10 physical damage per attack. And I think I put life on here. I think this had AOE already. And I think that might be it. So because I had like cold res or something on some of this, because I was able to, re because of the uh, purity of elements, I was able to remove some of the crafted Ellie res that I had on here. Like this has still got cold res. I could probably ditch that. Yeah, so I could change that out and make it something better. So yeah, it's been, I've made a lot of little subtle changes along the way here. And my DPS is up. A lot higher i'm gonna try to go for we're at level 95 i'll at least get to level 96 but i've also paired back my gameplay i've been playing some tarkov kind of jumping around in topics a little bit but i've been playing some tarkov we've got another whole month to go i figure what i'll do is i'll slowly work on this i want to take the maven down and this is going to be the character that's going to do it i think 
So I'm really working to try to tweak this in and get everything into that. When I get my fill of fighting the Exarch, I'm gonna switch over to the Eater and build up a bunch of his currency and re-roll all this stuff on here like I was talking about. But I really wanna kill her off this league and get that other Void Stone because I, I think I'm getting into, I got Dawnbreaker by the way, that thing dropped off. So if I ever wanna switch to a single weapon or a, a single-handed weapon, then um, I'll switch over to this, which I might. I may actually switch over to a single-handed web, a single-handed axe, and try to work Dawnbreaker in with this build. I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna have to see. But I really want to take her down. I think this is the build that's gonna let me do it. Um, I just need to get that built. And I want to do Exarch for a little while. I want to build up some of the currency. And I think this is where I've always made my mistakes in the past, is I always go and get an Exarch kill, and then I get an Eater kill, and then I just move on and try to kill the Maven off, and I'm trying to uh, work on the Maven and stuff. I think what I need to do is spend more time with the Eater and more time with the Exarch earlier on, and get all the implicits done and really hone in on my gear. Not just take what's the first available, but like get the actual uh, implicits that I should get and then worry about fighting the Maven fight and stuff like that and the other bossing one. I think that's where I'm running into my issues. And I like, I, uh, yeah, I'm digging that we have all the different, the three different mapping setups. Um, at some point I did clear out of, I, I was into Legion for a little bit. I did clear out of all that and I started going over into Breach. So I've got a bunch of Breach stuff on my bossing section. The other maps haven't changed all that much. Um, but yeah, I came over here for some reason. I don't remember what it was, but at any rate, yeah, I'm still going strong. Um, I'm close to getting my armor stacker going. I'm building up some more stacks of regret, regret orbs. Like I burned a whole bunch of these off to make a bunch of changes here. And I've just been getting plenty of currency. So it's been a good currency league. Um, back up to a big stack of chaos again. I know that's not necessarily big for other people, but for me in, in uh, SSF, that's kind of a decent stack. I don't normally have that much, 10 or 15 maybe, but now I've got 45 of those and um, cruising right along. So going to be headed trying to do more Maven fight. That will do it for this video. We will catch you on the next one. Take care.